Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Afroluigi and I'm playing X Rebirth. Now I've been a big fan of this game series for a long time and I've been looking forward to this one for at least, well, since they announced they were going to do it. And um, I'm actually up quite early so I can do this for once. Um, and I look forward to sharing this experience with you. Let's get started. Campaign. Uh, but yes, this is a flight sim splat. Um, flight sim splat. It's somewhat a 4x game, but it's um, the motto of the game is trade, fight, build, and think. Um, and that's exactly the point. You, there are many. You can play this game many ways. You can play as a humble trader, a mercenary, a warlord, pirate, whatever you want to do is possible in this game. Uh, one. The game also scales quite well because you could start off you start off with one ship and eventually start buying more ships, building fleets, building space stations. And also the game's highly moddable, so at some point if you ever just ever get tired of it, which I've managed to think over a thousand hours into the various games in this series. well over a thousand, maybe closer to five hundred fifty fifteen hundred or maybe even two thousand offline hours. Um you can just mod it and add things to it. Um, there's also um, this one has seamless loading, so we shouldn't be seeing this loading a loading screen like this ever again once it finishes loading. Encyclopedia. Historical ships. Pride of Albion. This prototype, built by John Fergo in 2932, was a technical masterpiece based on blueprints by engineer Bala G. Its great flexibility in engine performance, as well as weapon, shield, and hull technology, would have made it the first choice for any military organization. The model, however, never got into mass production due to excessive costs involved in building the main structure. Hmm. <laughs> Skunk. The only prototype was bought by the Argon government and played an important role in the Terran conflict as well as the Plutarch Revolution in Albion where it was registered under the Taladi Faalos de Sanos Humnas. The ship was last seen heavily damaged in a massive battle against the Plutarch Mining Corporation and was registered as lost in action. <laughs> Not quite destroyed yet. I think I have an update for this encyclopedia entry. Encyclopedia. History. Albion Revolution. Immediately following the surprising Great Gate shutdown of 2947, the Plutarch Mining Corporation started a revolution against the Argon government forces stationed in the Albion solar system. Unable to call in any reinforcements from their home systems, the Argon military was defeated and PMC instantiated a provisional government. Despite the decades of being disconnected from the gate network, the PMC government has since been an enormous success and brought wealth, prosperity, and security to all the people of the Albion system. That doesn't sound like propaganda. Note, article locked. No updates allowed. Yeah, yeah. Heard it all before. Proximity alert. Uh-oh. Yes, I hear you. I've got system failures. I need to dock. I think there's a docking port here, but I'm not sure if it's working. You better be sure. I'm coming in hot. <coughs> hey. Are you all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Thanks. How'd you end up in that pod? 
I was attacked in the highway. It happened so fast. They could still be nearby. I checked. You were the only ship out there. We can head for the nearest station, but it'll take a while. This ship's not in the best shape. If they come after me, then we're in trouble. Let me take a look. How does she know where the cop paid is? But yes, this is going to be our ship for most of the game. Unlike previous games, um, we are on it. Well, this is going to be the only ship where we are actually allowed to personally fly. This may change in coming DLC or expansions. Um, but actually, I don't mind because the very first game in the series, you can only fly one ship, and it was it proved to be extremely valuable, and people got quite attached to it. Um, in fact, it made a appearances in several games after that, despite the time, despite the fact the ship got technically outdated, reverse engineered, rebuilt, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm quite really liking the textures, the high quality and stuff. Um, can we climb this? No. Little plant. Wouldn't the plant be dead if the ship's been abandoned for a while? But yeah, let's get to the bridge. Uh... This is some elaborate plot to steal my ship. You should have waited until I finished repairs. <laughs> You're not kidding. This thing's a mess. You an engineer? Technician. I work for the Heart of Albion, performing safety checks for working areas, ships, production lines, that kind of thing. Yisha Terran. Reno Tani. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the Pride of Albion. You know your ship. I found it dumped not too far from here. I've been trying to restore it. And some joker thought it'd be funny to recode its ID to Albion Skunk. I should probably <laughs> let my people know I'm all right. Can't help you there. I was out here looking for a replacement high gain transmitter. It's probably best if we head to some station. We'll get going after I warm up the engines a bit. Okay. Um, I was planning to use a joystick, but apparently the um, game wasn't recognizing the um, trigger on my joystick. I've got a, quite an old one. Oh, there we go. Controls that look to be the, pretty much the same as the previous games. Uh oh. Sorry about that. She does that sometimes. It's only some PMC ships exiting the highway. Almost ready. Did you know that your boost engines are disabled? Yeah, they've never worked. Something <laughs> to do with. Hold on. Whoa. Woo! <laughs> What was that for? Those were Plutarch security ships. You don't just pull off a burn like that in their faces. Relax, they won't catch up for a while. Look, I've got a friend on a station near here. Get me there and we'll get most of your systems back online. Check this out. My bad. Maneuvering thrusters should be more responsive now. Okay, let's see. I think we should be heading to the highway. No, that's what that this what this line through space is. Um, to get around in this game, you use highways, kind of like freelancer. Um, but yeah. Um, How did it, you do that? Half of your sisters were in safe mode. Did she get into a fight? She's been like this since I found her. Uh, How about we get to that station? Yeah. Over here on the left, we have the. Uh, over here on the left we have our shield display and our boost actually drains the shields, which is how that's balanced. Um, but yeah, highways tr allow for you for fast travel throughout systems and the, I think it's these smaller ones you can actually jump out of part way through so to explore the, the dead space for lack of a better word, space between interesting zones. And in those zones you can find like asteroids, packages to salvage, like the, or in some cases ships. Like this one, apparently. So let's get into the highway. There we go. Whoa. Yeah. Um, what this is is it's a little mini game. You're supposed to try to get max speeds by jumping between lanes. Yeah, by catching using the wakes of the, f the faster ships, you can get even faster. Uh, there's a red ship there. 
Oh, we reached the end of the highway. Entering. That's the Badlands colony up ahead. It's not exactly a model of comfort, but it's welcoming enough. There's the Badlands colony down there. So, let's get a bit faster. Station information Close down. added to ship computer database. Badlands colony. Okay, we don't have any information unlocked. Um, the way you unlock information is by scanning the ships and stuff, but I don't know how to do that quite yet, so I'm assuming we'll be ship learning later. Stored in ship computer database. Double click the marked icon. Uh, slow down. Dock location added to ship computer database. Uh, no, that's not what we want. Uh, Double click, dock. This is the Albion Skunk. Requesting permission to dock. <laughs> skunk. Permission granted. Um, apparently as we go through the campaign, the um, name will change and update. Let's go back to Pride to Albion. Map. Badlands Mining Colony. The Badlands Mining Colony is one of the oldest mining facilities in Albion. Initially a high-yield but sizable rock, it was colonized by the Plutarch Mining Corporation in the year 2942, until Albion became isolated from the rest of the universe due to the Great Shutdown, it served as the unofficial capital. So, you oh, well, patch up this old junker for free? It's nothing too major, and I think I've earned a few favors. You've got one. One favor. You're more trouble than you're worth. What happened to this okay, guy's face? Guys, I'll get your ship right into a decent state. That includes the weapons, so you'd best keep quiet about where you got them from. There are some components around here I could use. Look around for them while I get set up. I'll leave you boys to it. And she just invites herself back on my ship. Um, but yeah, this is another little thing you can find, like, well, not find, um, find's the wrong word, but, um, by looking through lockers you can pick up items and you can either sell them or just collect them. So, let's have a look, yeah. And I'm pretty sure by find they mean, like, steal. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're, the people don't just let you go through their crates and stuff. Um, some of you may notice the animations aren't up to the quality of some other games. Um, I actually don't, I kind of like the animations so far. Also the, um, ah, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, previous games, in particular if you look up footage from X to the Threat, um, you'll see that these animations are actually ex um, lo massive improvement over the animations, character animations from Thanks. that game. If I were doing this, we'd better do it right. You should get on board and prepare to give a test run. Now let's ask about Isha. That Isha girl. She's nice and all, but don't expect things to be simple with her around. They never are. She told me she was with the Heart of Albion. Sounds pretty respectable. Sure, but the Heart of Albion aren't the PMC's best friends, are they? I say spend the time in her world. Heart of Albion will either get you into charity work or cyber terrorism. Never a dull day. Thanks for the help. Yeah, there's a bit of a ch glit um, jump there. Systems are looking good. Weapons are working. Let's give the targeting system a run through. Okay. Let's see. Nothing available here. Uh, that was the T key I just pressed. So. That the weapons work. It'll be faster to use the mining. Okay. 
So to change the weapons. How do we change weapons? Guard defense? Whoa! Don't want to press that button. Okay. We need to change to the mining laser. How do we do that? Okay, this is, I think, the drone interface. Oh, N to change weapons. Mining laser. Okay. Yeah, it controls some of the... Whoa. Boom. It's a shame you don't have a cap ship with collector drones. The minerals in these rocks are used in many industries. Yeah, we don't have a we don't have a mining ship though, so we can't collect these the ore. So, did you manage to contact anyone? Yeah, they know I'm okay. I'd hate to be a bother, but could you take me to them? It's not far from here. Yeah, there's not really no, they're sure. not really giving us a Given choice how well here, the so. Is performing, it's the least I can do. Thanks. I'll mark the location in your guidance system. We'll be meeting with the Heart of Albion ship to pick me up. Okay, where's So what do you do for a living? Nothing stable. The odd <laughs> job here and there. More to keep me busy than make money. A freelancer then. Not a bad job if you can find enough work. My father worked for Plutarch Mining Corporation for many years. Seeing how stressed he became, I don't think corporate life is the Whoa. enough that I can choose what I want to do. If you want to spend your time restoring old ships, you found a good one here. Highway? Entering even temper. Okay. D loading's a bit. S the seamless loading isn't too seamless, but okay. Let's enter that highway over there. Yeah, I've seen some. We've seen some textures load, but it's still early in the development. They're still going to be patching it and stuff. Object information added to ship computer database. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take me a while to get used to this mini game. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, got Gotta be careful about exiting the highways. Okay. Entering auspicious excavation. Okay. Look at these stations. I just sit back and admire the textures for a while. But yeah, the game works. The game used to work in like small individual stations and stuff. But now you get these massive what. Um, the game company is Egosoft is calling giant space cities, and yeah, they are total cities. We have lanes of traffic and everything. Here, let's have a look through these traffic. If I be, if I was flying one of these uh, smaller vehicles, I'd be kind of concerned about this big vehicle just kind of flying, buzzing traffic. Look at all those ships. But yeah, everything is rendered in real time. Even when you leave a system, that sh that system is still having activity going. It, it, there's no like loading or so the universe does react around you. And if you do, if I go, if I start blowing a few of these state ships up, oh, a lot of them, I start causing production problems in the nearby stations. They wouldn't be able to meet their orders. Um, prices would go up from for demand. and the like, so it's actually a whole real-time economy rendered in real-time. Uh-oh. That was supposed to happen. I think I just hit the first bug. Oh, there we go. Rexville, 
Rexville. <laughs> Fight us which is excavation. Oh, we were supposed to go back there and take the scenic route apparently. No shut up, Betty. <laughs> um Betty is what the, uh, is the nickname for the ship computer, so apparently it's caught on across the universe. Leaving highway, apparently. Oh, leave highway now. Entering auspicious excavation. Okay, we're back where we started. Okay. So what we're looking for is over there. The arrow. Yeah, that's what we're looking for over there. Okay, is, there a, is that a ship or a station? How far is it? Uh, not Dash isn't telling me. Oh, heads up display. That's Borman's ship over there. They'll be expecting us. This is Falk Borman to the Albion Skunk. I take it you have Yisha Taran on board. This is Ren Otani. Yes, she's here. Should we come in to dock? I'm sorry, Isha, but we can't risk it at the moment. Captain Otani, I'm transferring some credits to your account as we speak. I hate to be so abrupt, but time is short, and bringing Isha on board could potentially put her and others in danger. I'm sorry, but I have to say, I'm confused. You want her to stay here? I'm sure Isha can elaborate. She is currently better off with you than with us. Consider this a passenger transport job, Captain Otani. A well-paid one at that. We'll be in contact when this all blows over. Receive 50,000 credits? I didn't credits. know he was going to do that. So now what? You're the captain. What would you normally do? I have a freighter parked up not too far away. How about we head there and you explain what this is all about? Okay. Um, so we have our guest. But um, I'm gonna have to call the episode here, guys. It was this has been fun so far, and I look forward to seeing the rest so, of the universe. So I assume this has something to do with but the constant this conversation trouble talks. Heart of Albion is getting into with Plutarch. We do what we can. Plutarch has operations you wouldn't believe existed. What I do is find the evidence and get it to Borman. Starting to think Borman didn't pay me enough. Maybe the less you know, the better. We're not some crackpot group. Many in Heart of Albion are old Argon military veterans. They're pretty much the last of the Argon Federation in Albion. Plutarch came to power after the gates shut down. You should be happy Plutarch even tolerates your group. I'd like to see them try and shut us down. Entering auspicious excavation. Okay, well, their conversation's over, so I'm going to call it an episode, guys. It was, it's been fun so far, and I'll see you next time.